Magandang araw, grade 10. Ako si Crisanto Domingo, teacher ng Badipa National High School. Today, we're going to continue the topics on geometric sequences. And now, we are going to discuss on how to determine the sum of the terms of a given finite or infinite geometric sequence. Firstly, let us try to define a geometric series. A geometric series is the indicated sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. The series 2 plus 6 plus 18 plus 54 is a finite geometric series since there is a limited or finite number of terms. The series 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27 plus 81 plus and so forth and so on is an infinite geometric series since there is an unlimited or infinite number of terms. If we try to find the sum of a finite or infinite geometric series, firstly, we have the partial sum S sub n of a finite geometric series, which is the sum of the first n terms of the series. The formula used is S sub n equals A sub 1 times the quantity R raised to n minus 1 divided by R minus 1, where n is the number of terms, A sub 1 is the first term, and R is the common ratio. For example, evaluate the geometric series consisting of 9 terms with 6 minus 18 plus 54 plus up to 9 terms. For our solution, we first determine the given which is n equals 9, a sub 1 equals 6, and r is equal to negative 3. This is obtained by dividing the second term negative 18 by the first term which is positive 6. Substituting in the formula, we have... 6 times the quantity negative 3 raised to 9 minus 1 divided by negative 3 minus 1. This is equal to 6 times negative 19,683 minus 1 divided by negative 4. So we have 6 times negative 19,684 divided by negative 4 which is equal to 6 times 4,921. The sum, therefore, is 29,526. Another example, evaluate the geometric series, the quantity 3c squared minus 2, where c ranges from 4 up to 9. So we substitute c with 4 up to 9, so we have 3 times the quantity 4 squared minus 2, plus 3 times the quantity 5 squared minus 2, plus 3 times the quantity 6 squared minus 2, plus 3 times the quantity 7 squared minus 2, plus 3 times the quantity squared minus 2, plus 3 times 9 the quantity squared minus 2. So this is equal to 3 times 16 minus 2, plus 3 times 25 minus 2, plus 3 times 36 minus 2, plus 3 times 49 minus 2, plus 3 times 64 minus 2, plus 3 times 81 minus 2 which is 48 minus 2, 75 minus 2, 108 minus 2, 147 minus 2, 192 minus 2, 243 minus 2. So we add all of this. We have 46 plus 73 plus 106 plus 145 plus 190 plus 241. So we have 804. Next one. Let's have an infinite geometric series. So, an infinite geometric series converges if the absolute value of r is less than 1, where r is the common ratio. An infinite geometric series diverges if the absolute value of r is equal to or greater than 1, where r is the common ratio. The sum s of a converging series is given by the formula s is equal to a sub 1 divided by 1 minus r, Again, the absolute value of r is less than 1, where a sub 1 is the first term in r, is the common ratio. For example, evaluate the infinite geometric series 1458 plus 486 plus 162 plus 54 plus and so forth and so on. So, the, let's have the given. We have a sub 1 is 1458. The common ratio is 486 divided by 1,458, which is equal to one-third. Substituting in the formula, 
we have 1458 all over 1 minus 1 third which is equal to 1458 divided by 3 over 4 which is equal to 1458 times the reciprocal which is 4 over 3 the sum is therefore equal to 4 times 495 which is 1980 congratulations let's now try some activities in finding the sum of a finite and infinite geometric series Activity 1. Find the sum of the first 7 terms of the geometric series if the first term is 308 and the ratio is 1 half. So from the formula, we substitute, we have 318 times the quantity 1 half raised to 7 minus 1 divided by 1 half minus 1. So this is equal to 318 times 1 over 128 minus 1 all over negative 1 half which is equal to 318 times the quantity negative 137 all over 128 divided by negative 1 half. So we have 318 times the quantity negative 127 all over 128 times the reciprocal negative 2, 2 over 1, which is equal to 20,193 all over 64. Activity 2. Evaluate the infinite geometric series defined by the equation 1 over 4 raised to k minus 1, where k ranges from 1 to infinity. <clears throat> Step 1. So we try to find at least 3 terms of the series to see the recurring pattern so that we can find the ratio. So we have 1 over 4 raised to 0 is equal to 1. A sub 3 is equal to 1 over 4 raised to 1, which is equal to 1 fourth. A sub 3 is equal to 1 over 4 squared, which is equal to 1 over 16. Therefore, the common ratio is obtained by 1 over 16 divided by 1 fourth, or 1 fourth divided by 1. So, the common ratio is 1 fourth. Step 2, we solve for the sum with the first term 1 fourth and the ratio as 1 fourth also. So, we have A sub 1 all over 1 minus R, so we have 1 fourth divided by 1 minus 1 fourth. So this is equal to 1 over 4 divided by 3 over 4, which is the same as 1 over 4 and multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 4 over 3. Therefore, the sum of the series is equal to 1 third. Thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.